Our scores are often filled with musical instructions. These musical directions give us clues on how to approach and play the music we see. Our job as musicians is to study and interpret these markings and over time, with more experience, we will get better at making musical decisions. This often includes spotting phrases, differences in articulation, whether to use rubato and draw out longer musical lines and shapes. We could also suggest certain colours we should aim for in our playing depending on what role and who we are playing in at this moment. In this video, one will share two excerpts with you to explore these various concepts. We will go into detail on the contrasting styles of both excerpts and also demonstrate and share in depth how to approach them. Hi, let's talk about the phrase structure of AIDA. This excerpt started out as a 6-bar phrase, contains two smaller 3-bar phrases combined to form the 6-bar phrase from beginning to figure 103. At figure 103 contains a 4-bar phrase and back to 6-bar phrase. Do remember this phrase structure in order for you to shape the music well. Verdi has helped us here a lot by clearly marking and showing us the phrases and what he wants us to do such as the crescendo, dimiendo, accent, and staccato, etc. Just follow this and you'll be right on track. Please use a brilliant and well-supported tone, and having a clear articulation is very important here, but not too harsh. Just a rule of thumb, for all the triplets in this excerpt, please sort of rush to create a forward direction, but still in the overall tempo. A slight crescendo in these triplets will also help to create the forward motion. As for the semi quavers, a slight delay in the execution and emphasis on them will help to bring out the grand character of this excerpt. You might want to add a slight vibrato to add color for the dotted meaning in bar 1, 6, 7, and 17. Listen to as many recordings as possible. Let's talk about the phrase structure of the second suite in F by Gustav Holst. Here, we have four four bar phrases. When you play this excerpt, try to link up these four phrases together to create one continuous long phrase. This excerpt is usually being played on the cornet, but please do not worry if you don't have a cornet. You can still use the trumpet, but try to create a warm, mellow tone color which will help to bring out the lyrical character of this excerpt. Remember that you are playing together with the woodwinds, so do try to blend into their tone color and not stick up. Holes did not provide as much information here as compared to Verdi, therefore we have more freedom. Please use your imagination. Here are my phrase and expression marking. You can create yours too by saying out and deciding what is appropriate. Arban's 150 Arts of Phrasing is a great exercise to do to develop your phrasing. Um. 